Alright, so now we move on to the semifinals. And the matchup we have now is between Cool Grovile and Estes. Uh, the winner of this round moves on to the finals and the final round. Uh, based on their skill, uh, Estes is expected to win, but uh, of course anything can happen. Uh, the following action cards and characters were banned. Uh, these are the characters that both players were required to take and these are the action cards uh, and now let's look at uh, the decks of the players uh, first of all let's look at uh, cool Grovald's deck uh, we can see that uh, he did in fact decide to go uh, with high damage high energy that be into storm terror's lair that's an interesting choice uh, I'm not sure if that will work out, but we will see. Mostly just a deck optimized for damage. Uh, perhaps damage is exactly the thing that is needed. Now let's look at Estes deck. Uh, Estes also chose Azdaha as his third character. Uh, and as we can see, it is also mostly a deck optimized for damage. We have a lot of sports, uh, no jets, interestingly enough. Yeah, mostly just, uh, just, just damage output. We're not gonna be seeing any any stall stalling strategies uh, with neither opponent. Uh, so I suppose let's get right into the game. All right, match number five will now begin. The battle between Cool Groval and Estes. We shall see if Cool Groval can perhaps win a single game. Oh, that's that's not a bad hand to start this off with. Destiny. As this hand is a little bit worse, but uh, not not terrible, not terrible. Right, so the dice situation is not ideal for either player, but I believe they will be able to work with this. Oh, those are much better dice. Delve into destiny. Both players have very similar strategies, yeah, very similar characters. Nice. Groval is going to do Chi Chi summon instead of playing supports. Playing supports anyway, but I, I think a switch to Mona would have been a better call to make there. Perhaps not. Perhaps doing Chi Chi's normal attack would be the move to go with. As this hand is not impressive, but it can certainly do a lot of damage. I'm not certain if Cool Groval will be able to handle it. It is as the stars foretold. Bloom as the flowers in Gurabad! Now, the ideal thing to do here would perhaps be for Cool Groval to waste as this parametric, but that will not happen, it seems. Right, and Cool Grobal will simply try to try to stall. Now Estes could could kill Mo or that would not kill Mona, that it would he would be one damage short if he were to use Tandori. Mona will get her burst off. Oh, never mind. As this is just gonna stall. It's a valid strategy. Interesting thing is that Estes is, actu is actually charging up uh, his Hana Chirusato, which is a bit unexpected. 
I'm not sure if he has weapons in his deck, does he? Maybe he does. Alright, well, I believe Cool Groval will burst with Mona now to finish off the opponent's Mona. I believe, I believe Cool Grovel will use the Storm Terror's Lair to draw Chi Chi's talent. No. And Bursting without a talent card. Is that a mistake? And Asda has absorption, that's very nice. I believe the only move here that Cool Groval has is to tune the cards and simply burst, simply do the elemental skill with Asda. Uh, I think that way no advantage would be given. Or perhaps this is a better, a normal attack with Chi Chi? For that extra heal. That could potentially be better, but Chi Chi will die. So Chi Chi's will revive will not come into effect. Uh, cool Grovel does have Chi Chi's revive. Now Estes could use Tandori, but it doesn't really do much. In fact, it just limits his position because it costs two dice. The die situation was not ideal. Oh, this is destiny. I believe Cool Groval should have picked Azdaha there because of uh, Iron Tongue Tians. Mm. But perhaps not. Perhaps if I switch. Ooh! That, those are some very nice cards, cool Groval. Now, cool Groval could survive an attack with this Lotus and then perform another Mona's Burst. Uh, that would probably be the best move to make here. Simply bursting again with Mona and then performing a uh, elemental skill with Azdaha, that that would be possible. There is an, there is enough cards. Let me the okay, he's not choosing rest. to burst. Uh, he will instead save on Azdaha, which is also a good move. Estes using the parametric. Could be possible to manufacture some more dice, but the parametric will activate. Dust. Does that kill? Oh, five. That does kill. <gasps> that does, in fact, kill. Today. And Cool Groval takes the win for round one. Let's see how well the players do in round two. Uh, now, Cool Groval could use Pancreation because uh, he is going second. Mm. But it might be a bit of a risky move. Right, he is going to go Pancreation. Oh, and Estes did get Pancreation, a Pancreation of his own. Mm, are we gonna get, get have a pancreation show off? Wow, Estes does not have good eyes. 
this time. Like a really bad dice, but you know. He did have Dunya's art, so he can in fact do something about it. Uh, this also basically ensures that Cool Grovile will proc his Pancration. Another Paimon! Oh! Interesting! Interesting! Is this a. Is this worth making this play? I suppose Estes decided no. Next round. I mean, it's it is better next round. And Cool Groval did play his Pancration. So that will be an additional card for him. And Tabi. Alright. Getting out Iron Tang Tian. Uh, it would also be better to play this next round. Groval is getting slightly better cards, but Estes does have double Pyman, double Dunya's art. Uh, it's anybody's game. Oh, gamblers, alright. Estes could pull something a bit nasty. And Estes plays Pancration. I'm not sure if that's a smart idea, considering he's going first. Uh, I'm not certain he will be able to proc it, and and giving your opponent pancreation is, uh, is quite a bad move. Setting up his mana, perhaps. Let me yes. The cool Groval could fast wish to Azdaha due to Mona's passive, and then perform a crystallize. But Estes is not gonna let him do that. Uh, the best move here. Hmm. What's happening? Not sure what the best move here would be. Bursting with Chi Chi. That might be a good move. Setting up the secondary Iron Tang Tian to get energy for burst. It would mean sacking Dornyazard and playing Leo Harbor sacking Tabby. Uh, ideally, you would do this next round, but could you even survive until the next round? Groval is going in for the kill. Is He did not play Leo Harborworth. He's gonna wait till next turn. Alright, and Esther's playing another Parmon just to stall a bit more. Not at it matters that much. I suppose it does. Asdaha gets uh, uh, Hydro Absorption. Alright, well, Estes has 12 dice and Cool Groval has 10 dice. Jeez, what a, what a predicament. This is Not bursting with Chi Chi. Instead, going Mona to Azdaha. Uh, that makes sense. I think Cool Growl is uh, saving uh, Chi Chi's energy for Chi Chi's revive. And Estes will try to meme, meme Growl's Lotus. Estes does have quite a lot of utility. He might be in a slightly better position than uh, Cool Growl. Yeah. Ah, uh, and there's the gamblers. There's a good possibility that Estes might win this one. 
Tremble and submit, mortal! Suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Yes, and and taking care of Azdaha. Now the question is, will Cool Groval draw Kichi's revive? Because that might end up saving him. Unfortunately, Mona's talent instead. As this is likely to win due to just having better utility. Mm, cool Groval. Well, he has a Lotus. He could perhaps survive until the next round. Mm, but that's that's about it. Mm. Cool Groval does have Chi Chi Summon. So he could heal himself up. A lot. He is choosing not to burst with Chi Chi. Looking from my position, that might most likely be a mistake because Esther simply has a lot more dice. If Kugrovel were to use the Lotus Flower, he will would most likely survive till next round and perhaps then he will draw Chi Chi's revive unfortunately Estes ca cannot use Tandori here <gasps> never mind he can all right it's GG Alright, well, let's see how the final game goes. Alright, time for round number 3. Let's see if Cool Groval can pull something off this round. This is destiny. Not a particularly bad start for both players. There is certainly... A lot of things that can be done here. Now Cool Growl does unfortunately start first, so most likely he will not be able to utilize his bank creation. Though potentially with the RK, the two extra switches, it would be possible, but he decided not to go this route. Uh, which is probably the better move to make uh, and unfortunately cool Groval does not have a very good eyes unlike Estes who has a lot better dice and why did Groval do that is he really planning to sack either the arcane or the Lotus uh, he is, he did sack a Lotus, that's, that's a courageous decision. And Estes is doing his own setup. What's happening? Well, Estes did do a lot of damage to Chi Chi, but Chi Chi did get two energy. And there is the uh, Storm Terrors there that could lead to potentially either Chi Chi's talent or Mona's talent. Mona's talent is fairly useless, but Chi Chi's talent could come in very handy. Oh, he drew Chi Chi's talent. That might prove to be very useful. 
Uh, as these cards aren't looking all that interesting. You dare overstep your mortal authority? There is no atonement for a thousand year pain! This is destiny. Some interesting gameplay here. Uh, now, unfortunately, if Cool uh, uh, Groval here will have to sacrifice um, a character. Uh, unfortunately, there is no real choice. Uh, if he were to end the Mona here. Uh, Mona would die, uh, die after receiving the two energy, which, which would be really bad. What's happening? Cool Growell did see this move, so he is wishing. Alright, and just like that, he successfully prevented Mona from dying. Because Este, Estes cannot do uh, anything else. I mean, he could do Plunging Strike, but that doesn't really accomplish very much. Now, who Groval could is in fact gonna draw Mona's talent here. Uh, Mona's talent, just for reference, it does hydro related reactions trigger plus 2 damage. But if Estes were to kill Mona, uh, Azdaha would kill Loremaster, a worthwhile trait. Because now Cool Growell can get Azdaha's absorption for one extra dice. There we go, that's one extra dice. Actually, he can't really do anything here. He's gonna have to end on three dice, isn't he? There we go, that's the end of the turn. Oh, no parametric transformer. I suppose he's keeping t cards for tuning. There we go, there's the Asdaha's Burst. Interestingly enough, Groval did not use uh, Lotus. I'm not sure what the best move here is for either party. Unfortunately, cool, I believe that Cool Groval is simply out of dice. I believe that is a GG. I will not be destroyed. Decided by and that's the GG.
Alright, I think Estes forgot to do the parametric transformer last round. Cold. Well, so there we go. Cold. Estes wins 2-1. And Estes moves on to the finals.